Hi, I'm Gail from Our Space. Hi, I'm Peggy from Our Space, and welcome to another one of our craft videos. And we have again with us our student intern. Hi, I'm Carlina. So what are we making today? Today, we are making paper snow people. Oh, nice. They look cute. Thank you. So before we get started, we're going to be doing a snowball breath. So at, for the for the breathing in, you're going to make a snow a snowball with your hands, and then for the breathing out part, you're going to roll it like you would to build a snowman. And we're going to be doing that twice. Okay. So with me, you're going to breathe in, breathe out. Again, snowball. Great. I like that. Yeah, I do too. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So Peggy, what supplies do we need today? White paper, colored paper, scissors, glue stick or tape, markers. Okay, so what is the first step? The first step is that you cut three strips of paper. Um, here, well, we have two that are pre-rolled, but here's an example of a strip of paper. Um, you're gonna do two of the same size and then one a little bit smaller. Um, so just like that, they could be any size. Might, it depends on if you wanna make a small snowman or a large snowman. Okay. Okay, so I have one yet to take. So what you want to do after you cut them is you want to roll them, look like that, and then you can either glue or tape them. Okay, so what do you do next when you have all your three strips of paper rolled? Okay, so next we're gonna, you're gonna take the two largest rolls and you're gonna tape them on to whatever color paper you have. So the, the two longer strips that you've rolled up are going to be the bottom of the snowman. Okay, so it'll look like this on the bottom, right? Right. Mm -hmm. I found it kind of easy too to make tape into double sided tape. And right, just to kind of like roll it into a then circle. It just sort of sticks right on top of the other yeah. one. See, we're, we're all we're rolling everything into like a little circle. Yeah. So I have my three like that. And I'm doing mine, you can do it on any piece of paper, but this one I'm gonna make into a card for someone. So I did it on the front of the ah. paper, yes. Maybe one of you will be receiving this card. I can't say. <laughs> okay, great. So what is the next step gonna be? So the next step is we're gonna do the hat. Okay. You're gonna need a strip of paper like we just did with the white ones. And then you're gonna need, you're gonna need a half circle. Okay. So my hat part is already rolled up. So then you're going to take the half circle mm -hmm. and put it on top of your snowman, like where the head would be, and you're going to tape it or glue it. Okay. I also did, did it double sided for this part too. So it goes on, just sticks right yeah. up there. Yeah. Yep. Just like that. Okay. Here's mine. Great. And then the same goes for the top of the hat, right? Yep. Um, and once you roll it, you're going to tape it above the half circle. Okay. So I did mine. Yeah. Okay. Might do a tape on the back and a tape on the bottom so that it kind of sticks to the half circle. Yeah, I'm doing that too, Peggy. That was a good idea. Yeah, it does. It makes it 
it holds it down better like that. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Good. All right. Okay. And then next, so we all have our snowman and snow person with their hat. Yep. Okay. Next is we're going to do the nose, which you can take orange paper if you have or any color paper and cut a little triangle shape or like a carrot shape and keep that on for the nose. And if you don't have that color paper, you could also just take your markers and draw on a nose. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Does everybody have their nose? Yes. Good. And then next for the arms, you're going to cut out two like twig shape, or you can just make two like rectangular shapes that you're going to use for the arms. Okay. And you're going to tape it inside, inside there. It's hard to see, but. Oh yeah. Okay. Like that. okay. Okay. Did that part. Um, before I show you the last step, I have a little joke for you. Okay. What do you call a snowman in the summer? What do you call a snowman in the summer? A puddle. Oh, puddle. <laughs> that's cute. Thank you. Okay, so for the last step, you can take a marker. And I just used black and I, on this one, and I just did eyes and mouth and buttons. You can do it however you want with whatever colors you want. That looks cute. Thank you. Yeah. And I might add more things to this later, but here's the basic of what it looks like when you use it. Nice. Them. And you could always like decorate the hat more if you want. Yes. Oh, that's that's really cute. Cute. Mine's almost there. You can always make like a winter scene in the back if you have more paper right. for a background. These are awesome. This was really fun. I'm gonna make yeah. more today because I love having, you know, a few of each thing. Yeah, you can I make a family and name them. Yeah. They're cute. Yeah. Thanks for coming. And if you'd like to see more of our craft videos, you can go to our website at www.ourspacerocks.org. Happy crafting. Bye. Bye. Bye.